Hello guys, let's study Damiano's checkmate pattern today. This pattern is quite old, first studied and published by Pedro Damiano in 1512. In this position, white is to move and to checkmate the black king with Damiano's mate. But notice also that black has a big threat here, which is queen a1, checkmate. So every move by white has to come with a check. First, we go rook h8, check. Now there's only one legal move for black, which is king takes h8. Now rook h1 check, king g8, rook h8 check. Again, only one legal move for black, which is king take h8. And now queen h1 check, king g8, and queen h7 checkmate. Okay, now that we've seen how it's done, let's study the position further to understand the requirements for this checkmate pattern. First, why do we sacrifice the rook? Well, we sacrifice the rook because we need a check, a forcing move on every move. And also we need to lure the black king to h8 square, thereby clearing the way for our queen. Another thing we need is a pawn or a bishop on g6 that control these two diagonals. And we also like to have a piece, a black piece that is not a knight on f8. Because otherwise, uh, if it's a knight, obviously, it can it can take our queen. The black piece can also be on e7 instead of f8. Let me just show you. So now if we have the rook on e7 instead of on f8, then black still has one more move, which is king f8. But then the next move is checkmate, queen h8 checkmate. So this is also valid for Damiano's mate. Okay, now that we have studied the pattern, let's practice black to move and win in this position. Please pause the video if you need to and try to solve this on your own first. Remember the requirement of the Damiano's mate. First and foremost, we need a pawn or a bishop on g3. So first move by black should be g3. Now the rook is pinned and best defense by white here is probably rook f1. Now, obviously, if we take, there will be no mate. The best way is to sacrifice the rook, rook h1 check, luring the king to the h file. Now the h file is already open as well. And then we go queen h6. Black goes king g1, and now queen h2 checkmate. Basket trap in between his own uh, pieces. Now that you've burned the Damiano's motif into your mind, you can use it together with another tactical motif to form a beautiful lengthy combination that previously seemed difficult to find. Here is another case study for you, black to move and win. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like. The correct way for black to proceed here is knight g3 check, combining the knight folk motif with Damiano's mate motif. Here the knight is checking the king and threatening the queen. Of course the king can move, but then you know the queen is lost and black is winning anyway. So let's say uh, white takes uh, the knight instead, h takes g3, then we open the h file and have the discover check. So uh, white has to go king g1, and now I'm sure you can see the uh, Damiano's uh, mate uh, motif again in this position, right? Black should proceed with rook h1 check, king takes h1, rook h8 check, king g1, rook h1 check, king takes h1, queen h8 check, king g1, queen h2 check, king f1, and queen h1 checkmate. This is Damiano's mate pattern that we have seen earlier. So do keep this tactical motive in mind next time. When you have a pawn on h4 next time, for example, and you have a knight that can check the king uh, on g3, sometimes it's worth it to sacrifice that knight to open up the h file uh, to have Damiano's mate and checkmate the king. Last position we're going to look at in this video. As usual, please feel free to pause the video to figure things out on your own first. Okay, this is similar to the previous position we looked at. Uh, with the knight being able to go to g3 and forking the king and the queen. But you might ask yourself, here we actually have the king on e8, which means that um, 
it's not easy for the queen to go to uh, h8 to eventually checkmate the white king but we will eventually see that this doesn't matter much the best move is still knight g3 forking the king and the queen now white has to take we take back now king g1 and the king is on the way so we simply go king e7 clearing the uh, back rank the eighth rank for all our rooks and our queen and here white actually has one extra tempo to prepare his defense but there will be no defense good enough that stops white from losing significantly in the actual game here white actually plays queen e1 and of course this uh, uh yeah checkmate is coming this is totally losing uh, as usual we see the damianos checkmate uh, motif in action again here rook h1 check king takes h1 rook h8 check king g1 rook h1 check king takes h1 queen h8 check king g1 and queen h2 checkmate do let me know in the comment section below if you managed to figure out the answers to all the position we practiced today congratulations i think you're a pretty strong player and yeah, I'm currently going through checkmate pattern studies, so please do subscribe and put your notifications on so you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.